Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss some very basic property of the 2D histogram object here in the root. Basically, 2D histogram and 1D histogram are very similar, so the operation between them are almost identical, but some uh, cases because 2D histogram has extra dimension than 1D histogram, so they have somewhat more property like uh, you can have projection to one axis, okay, or to um, mm, to just display certain beam and projection another axis, okay. So let's just start it. So the first topic we will have is the concept of a global beam, okay. So before that, let's just uh, go through line by line. So first, I would like to create a canvas that to display the our um, histogram here. So the canvas will be a uh, C1 and the title of 2D histogram demo and the key of the canvas is C1. Again, I just make it the same. So I can retrieve from the root file and I don't need to modify it. So okay, so they, that just go ahead. So hit enter. Now I have this. This will be 500. This will be 800 pesos. And I would like to because I would like to compare. So I make a little bit division here and go to the first uh, path. So here we are. Now there's a new things. The 2D histogram. Okay, in this uh, demonstration, I use uh, char data type histogram. So each bean will just store the data up to 170, uh, sorry, 127, and the uh, the minimum will be negative 128. Okay, histogram the root ha can have negative number because when you do an operation, you subtract another um, histogram. So you have to prepare an active number for that part. So this is the decoration here, this pointer. I call it the histogram 2, dimension 2D here. So the constructor for this class is the first is key, another is the title. Then this is the, the X and this is the Y axis. So for the X axis, I have 100 beams. The range x minimum is 2, uh, minus 2, and 2 x maximum is 2. Uh, very similar for the y setting here. I have uh, 100 beams for the y axis, and the range will be negative 2 to maximum 2 here. So let's just uh, copy and paste. Okay, hit enter. So now we have just uh, MP uh, 2D histogram here, and then we're gonna to fill it. But before that, let me just uh, describe a very uh, simple idea about what's the global bean here. As we just discovered here, we have the bean for the x axis and a bean for the y axis. So normally you will have totally 100 times 100 beans. Okay, so once you want to do some manipulations, maybe you need to use the two for loops that make your code a little bit complicated, but you can handle that part. So uh, how about three dimension or more dimension? You w we will have a lot of lot of loop. So that that's not so convenient. So um, so the roots provide a function that. Um, would just uh, change everything to one single dimension array, every beam. For the concept is pretty easy, like uh, you have a two times two uh, matrix. You can call the index one equal to the first uh, uh, one and one, and the index two is one and two, index three is two, one element, index four is two, two element, such and uh, such okay, so it just change everything to w just one D array here. So here uh, maybe we will encounter later uh, in another demonstration. So um, 
So I'll just give you the idea. So here is the get bean method in the histogram. It will return the global bean and it's quite useful for the loop loop here. For example you you know the global bean so you can get the com a bean content from it. For example you fill some data in that bean, for example the data is five in a bean number one. So you can say the global bean number one I want to know how many uh, the, what is the data there? So you just get get bean content there. Okay, so that's the concept of the global uh, beans. So, okay, so let's take a look about the uh, filling of a 2D histogram. Uh, so we just discovered previously for 1D histogram we use a fill. Okay, so we just use a uh, there's just one parameters here for 1D, but for 2D here, you have two parameters, like uh, to, you have to fill X and Y here, and also you can have the weight, the S and Y and W. W is the weight. If you use the this one here, that means every time you use this command, you just fill one count in the corresponding to X, Y coordinate or S, Y beam there. But if you use this for example, W equals to three, you you add three counts in the corresponding to X and Y uh, beans there. Okay, so in this case, uh, we uh, use a for loop uh, to fill uh, one hundred uh, ten thousand times. Okay, <laughs> all right, I'm not good at the numbering. All right, but anyway, um, I feel. Uh, two times. Uh, this is uh, the G random is a global pointer that control uh, kind of provide you a kind of utility to very quickly to get a random number here. So I use the G random global pointer and to um, reference to the Gaussian, and this is the field X. Or x coordinate or x bean and this is y here. So I would call the random number is the center at minus 0.5 and the width of the Gaussian is 0.1 here. Okay. So you can see here the first one is uh would be x the center at minus 0.5 and minus 0.5 and the width is uh 0.1.1 is uh, is slightly narrower than the second uh, one here. So uh, let's visualize the, uh, the, the 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 data here. Okay, so we just copy and paste. Okay, and we use a draw, but we now put the option color. Okay, so you will see color beautifully on your histogram. Okay, here you are. So the first thing is this is come from the 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 filling like the first command because the x is uh, center is minus 0.5 oh, sorry this is x <laughs> okay this is y and y also center minus 0.5 and the width is nicely narrow the second one here okay the second one is center at uh, x would be 0.2 probably here and y point 1.4 here okay so we will have some manipulation later. So you can see the count will be uh, double because we fill this twice. Okay. So very good. Uh, we use we use weight equals one. So this will be exactly what we see here. All right. Very good. So then next thing we like to go to the the bottom panel. So I would like to demonstrate how to make a projection here. So you have a 2D histogram and you can project uh, your data into one axis to make it uh, one D histogram. Uh, so you have a 3D histogram you can project to a 2D histogram here. So how to do it? Uh, so the way is the, the concept is like okay I would like all the data coming this way. <laughs> so just like a, a it's easier to just uh, show you what it looked like. So I called my 2D histogram. Okay, it's an H2D here. Then use the method project 
uh, to the X, then I would like to have uh, there will be a histogram, 1D histogram that I can call draw, then you would pop up. Okay. All right. So what happened in here? So as you see, this is X projection. So we see here is center at one point two. So is here. Center is point two. This guy here. So we don't have uh, any uh, Y information. We just have X uh, information here. Okay. This is center at a point five minus point five here. Okay. So it just project everything down to the X axis here. All right. So the same thing. Uh, let's see what happened if we have a uh, Y projection. So we just change one single character here to X to a Y and draw the same path here. Okay. So actually everything is just project to the Y axis. So the direction is here. So any information is showing here. Okay. There is no X information anymore. So uh, you can see here in the center now is 1.4 because now we fill in in the center in 1.4 so we'll go in random here all right so okay so next thing um, you have to use GUI <laughs> so there is no command line option here uh, so first thing I would like to tell you how to make a gate okay uh, this is uh, terminology but I feel like I don't have a good way to describe what could be in a prob probable uh, way to describe this kind of a uh, operation. So the thing is, okay. So so if you don't have any idea, just look just look what I did. Okay. So click this canvas. Then you have a very very um, a nice thing here is called the set shell project X here. So it's typically the same, uh, but we project not all the thing to the uh, x axis, but certain. So let's say this is a bean number here. So we have 100 beans. So now we just partially 25. Let's see what happens. So okay, so you get additional uh, one here, but very nicely here. So it still project to the x axis, but the y just 25 beans. Okay, so you can move through see what happened here. You see, so you see the center is this center is x center is 0.2 here. This center is uh, minus 0.5, and this is x projection here. You see x projection. And this center is point two here, so very cool. Okay, right? Because you don't put all the way, say so all the y axis there. You just put partial y axis there. You see, this is a whole, uh, I believe, uh, y uh, y axis there. But there is just not y partial y axis here. So let's do the same thing for the show project Y here. And let's say because we have 100 beans, so let's give it 25. So what happened? Ooh, it's a lot. Of, maybe I it's get angry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's say, yeah, try. Again. Maybe too too many things. Just get angry. Or close it. Okay. Try again. <laughs> All right, all right, okay. You see, very, very, very nice, right? So this is uh, Y projection, but it's a certain range of X here. So you see this peak here, center is 1.4. You see, there's a Y position here, and there you can. See the pop up of the second one here, center negative point five here. Okay, I think you got the idea about how to play with it. So sometimes it's quite useful because uh, uh, in some data or some situations, the arrangement is that the 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 
This axis is certain part of a detector. For example, detector number one, two, three, four, five, and this is what some the y axis the some count. So if you just want to see a detector from zero to one, and you just engage on that, and see what happened here. All right, this is just a quite uh, a little bit advanced technique here, but it's quite cool. So uh, now I'm going to close this. I just want a single uh, panel here. Okay, so easier. So next question is, okay, if I would like to know how many counts, how many entries during a certain area in a histogram, 2D histogram, how should I do? Okay, so a little bit, uh, a little bit more uh, steps to do here. So first, you have a display here. Go to GUI. So you got uh, view toolbar. Uh, the cut number here. This is the same as we just did uh, in previous uh, uh, root uh, file demonstration to use the tcut object. So I can go a little bit faster. So now I make a cut. So very slow. Okay. Okay. Make it just uh, okay. <laughs> very funny. Okay. Okay. So now I finish. I double click to finish that. So I use uh, right click, then set name. Uh, for example, I want to set my cut. Okay. Uh, just say my cut. Okay. Good. So now you go to the terminal here, say my cut, you see a T uh, cut graphic objects there, and this is a memory address that's a successful. So uh, just remind you, you can have a lot of uh, operation here, like a set line width, that make it white and thicker, and you will see it, you see thicker, right? Very beautiful. <laughs> but this is not what we want to do. We want to see the count inside this region here. So the way is my cut. Uh, uh, this will be integral and histogram. Then this the histogram is called uh, H2D. So H2D. Okay. I'll hit enter. Okay, you see the count here, but it's not uh, very nicely display that you see out. Okay, so the count will be 6,175 there in this region here. Okay, so this is a very short tutorial of the 2D histogram. Basically I just tell you the concept of the global means. Um, we will use it later Oh, you probably you are using find useful in your research and uh, how to fill a 2D histogram. You have X and Y, and to the, do the projection, you use a 2D histogram method to project X and uh, draw. Then you you make a set show projection Y and X. You can move the cursor to make a gate. Then you got um, you know. T cup object you can you can integrate that area. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you for your watching.